Hi guys. Today we will see how to face swap in a video using Reactor. I have used the face I created in the previous video. I put the workflow link in the description. Download and open this workflow. If you see red boxes, go to ComfyUI Manager and click Install Missing Custom Nodes. This will install these two nodes, ComfyUI N Nodes and ComfyUI Reactor Node. On the ComfyUI Reactor Node GitHub page, expand the installation section. If your PC doesn't have these Visual Studio packages, then install them. Download these two face restore models and put them into the directory mentioned here. If your reactor keeps installing things every time you launch ComfyUI, then go to this troubleshooting section. Follow their instruction carefully. They have told us to download the Insight Face package. First, check your Python version. Go to the Python embedded directory. Then check the python.exe file version. Then download the Insight Face package for your Python version. Then copy this command. Go to the Python embedded directory. Open CMD here. Paste the command here. Then copy the Insight Face package path you downloaded before. Paste the path here and press Enter. Then go to the ComfyUI custom node slash ComfyUI reactor node directory and open the install.bat file. If everything is OK, then the workflow will successfully run. Choose the face for face swap. Choose the video. You can increase the image's limit value for better quality. Choose your desired face restore model. You can also change the multiplier value for quality. Set the video ratio here. And then press Q prompt. We can do face swapping process manually in Automatic 11.11. For this, I am using the NextView extension. Copy the NextView extension GitHub link and install it in the Automatic 11.11. Go to Settings menu. Inside the Saving Images or Grid section, uncheck the Add Number to File Name when saving. Apply Settings. Now go to the NextView tab. Drag and drop the video you want to face swap here. Click Generate Image Sequence. You can see the image sequence from the video has been created. You can find this directory inside the extensions slash next view slash image sequences folder. Copy this image sequence location. Now go to the image to image tab. I am using realistic vision checkpoint. Now go to the batch tab. Paste the image sequence path in the input directory. For the output directory let's create a folder. I am creating a folder with the same name as the image sequence folder, in the next view image batch directory. I am copying the path of this folder. And paste it into the output directory. Let's make a sample image first. Let's go to the image sequence folder.
and drag and drop one image into the image to image. Detect image size. As I am doing it for demonstration purpose, I am decreasing the image size. As we are going to swap only face, set the denoising strength to zero. Now enable reactor and drag and drop the face here. Now with the same settings start the batch process. You can see the face is changed. Now copy this output directory path. and paste it here. Click Generate Video. The face swapped video is created. You can see the video in the next view output videos folder. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.